I know there's not a, well, I know there's pretty much no paid partnerships on my channel um, until now. The This company reached out to me and said, we want you to review our product. And when they told me what it was, I was like, man, if this works. So there's one thing I've always wanted since I've been a young photographer, and that has been a color light meter. I, I can deal without light meters, honestly. I used them for flash when I was on film, but for digital, I've never used regularly a light meter because I just don't need it. I look at the back of the screen, look at the Instagram, that's all I need. Um, and I'm not a traditional type, you know, photographer where I'm looking for Rembrandt or Butterfly. Or, I just put the lights where they look good and I shoot. That being said, you know, until I got into this studio, I had a studio down the hall, which was bigger than this. Um, but the windows were up high and I very rarely used window light because it was mostly headshots and, and that kind of stuff that I did. So color wasn't an issue. Now that I have this giant window over here and you know, notice the photos that my backgrounds are always a different color than my subject. You know, there's a window tint. Like on all the new windows, there's this tint to protect against sun rays, which in, in this case gives me a bluish tint. And then event photography. Back in the old days, you know, you had the screw-in bulbs, the, you know, whatever ambient bulbs, they were all tungsten based bulbs and, and you never have to worry about it because you throw the tungsten filter on your flash and you go to town, no issues. But now we have LEDs and all different types of LEDs. There's so many different color variances today than there was back in the day that even now, like the color meter needs more now than it did back then. And when I found out this was a straight out color meter, it does a bunch of other stuff too, but I'm just going to focus on the photography part of this. Um, it's a color meter. And, you know, when I got it, there was a bit of confusion, but the thing is like, I love this thing. It's, it's small. Um, there's not much to it, <laughs> which I really love. This can definitely go in my pocket. I think this is a magnet in the back, so you can just, I don't know why you would need that, but it's there. But when I first saw it, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm presuming it didn't come with batteries. So, you know, I plugged it into the USB um, and it's the older USB, which is eh, sad. Um, and then turned it on and put it on the phone and, uh, you know, you, you connect this with the app and it tells you what the color temperature is. So right now I'm just like thrilled to death, but I'm thinking, okay, well, how the hell do I, you know, put batteries in this thing? Cause there's nowhere to put, well, there's this rubber cover over here that you just peel off this rubber cover and the batteries, you put them in there, but it came with batteries in it. I don't know if it does for the retail version, but the one they sent me had batteries in it. But when I turned it on and did the, the color reading, I was just like, oh my God. And now this also does lumen. So um, you can, you know, check your LEDs, uh, you know, for the light output for those, which again <laughs> is really, really needed. Um, like this is a very relevant needed product today. You know, there's just no ifs, ands, or buts. Like I would have killed to have this back in the day. Um, but I am so excited to have it today, even for something as simple as doing work in my studio. Um, because of the window tint. Now I go to a lot of places where I can shoot uh, ambient light with windows, but every single place I go to has different windows in it, different kind of sun sunscreens that changes the color. And, you know, I know a lot of people are like, oh, well, you could just do this in post. Probably can, but when you're mixing light um, or you just want a straight out of the camera, boom, this is it. And that's what I love. I want to shoot to the card, not to post-process. Um, I want to get everything right when I shoot. This 
this is going to let me do that. Like I have a wedding coming up and there's three different types of venues that it's going to be in and three different types of lighting. And, and something as simple as, you know, midday versus afternoon versus morning, they're different color temperatures. And to be able to use this and then add a strobe and then gel my strobe to match the color where I don't have to worry about it in Lightroom or Photoshop afterwards is everything. Um, now the app, I'm going to put it on the screen while I'm doing this, uh, it, obviously, because I'm not just going to hold this up. That would be silly and more like me, actually. But for me, um, in studio, like I said, and on location, this, I will use this at every single shoot. Um, you know, like right now, my color temperature in here is 7,095 Kelvin. That is blue. <laughs> um, and the Lux in here is 3,732 where it stands. You know, if I bounce it off the, I have a silver reflector here to add more light onto me. Obviously it's going to take down the color temp, um, to 6407 and I'm at 924 Lux. So this is really very useful. Um, I, I'm kind of blown away by it. And I, like I said, I know there's a lot of stuff you can do with this. I'm not going to go into the fine details because I would probably get most of it wrong. You know, for me out of the box, um, I'm looking for what's my color temperature. Like that's it. That's all I want to know. Um, and I, I believe me, it, you know, if you're somebody that, that does these different types of venues or somebody that shoots in different types of the day, and you can have this kind of reading just print of the box and just set your camera to Kelvin. This is everything. Um, you know, I, I said before, like when the sun bounces off a blue shirt and bounces back up into the person, it changes the color, you know, like little things like that. This is just, this is golden. <laughs> this is everything. So I do love this thing and I have no problem with taking money to promote it to you whatsoever because it is really that important to me and it's not expensive. I mean, color meters are still, you know, for a decent color meter, hundreds and hundreds of dollars used and thousands of dollars new. Um, this on my phone and I'm getting correct color temperatures. I'm pretty excited. I am like really excited. So this, I think it's the, you know, whether you're a daylight shooter, a, a natural light shooter, or a mixed strobist, man, this is really, really important product. Um, no, it doesn't measure flash. It doesn't do anything but measure color temperature for photography. It has other things, like I said, which I'm not going to go into. Um, you know, there's the screen, but I, like I said, I'll, I'll show it on the screen. But for this, for me to know it's 7,356, God, that's everything. Now I can take my gels out and match my strobes when I'm using mixed lighting in the studio because I love using the natural light along with strobes, but the color temperatures are always wrong. Like my gray background always looks blue. Um, my, my other backgrounds, they, they have such big color shifts because I'm strobing at 5,600 K and I'm at 7,400. It's never going to match. Now I can match it anyway. So, you know, as far as this is concerned, I have nothing more to say about it. Um, I'm sure the company wants me to go into everything else it does, but I'm not going to, but because I'm a photography channel, I don't do anything else. Um, I, and I love that it does other stuff. I'll play with it and, and learn about it. But for me, out of my pocket, um, I'm, I'm going to use this for photography at every single shoot. Um, I absolutely positively love it. Anyway, um, th that's the product. Um, <laughs> I'm really, really, really excited about this one. I, like I said, I don't know how much it costs. You know, maybe it's a hundred, 150, who cares? Because when you match this up to an actual color meter, it works and it's a fraction of the cost and it connects to your iPhone. Um, you know, would I love a reading out on this? And probably cause I wouldn't have to pull out my phone, but for the benefits and the cost versus, oh, this is, this is everything, this little puck. Anyway, um, that, that's the product. And that's my video for it. 
I was supposed to do an unboxing, so let me make this. Oh, there it is. That's my unboxing. So the light coming into the studio is at 7,000. My normal temperature on this light, daylight, is 52. And you can see the difference. Um, but let me pump this up to the incoming light. We're as close as I can get with this, which I don't know what it is, but we'll find out. So I can go all the way up to 6,500, which is a little bit better match for what I have in here. And I'm reading 63.45, give or take. 65. Yeah, I'm at 65.72, and this is set to 6,500 uh, Kelvin. So the color match should be much better now. Um, and also, it's giving me my Lux, which is 12,000, 13,000, 15,000. Okay, we're settling on around fourteen to 15,000 Lux um, at this distance, which I don't know, it's two and a half feet maybe, uh, which is pretty impressive. And obviously, I have the, the reflector on, but this is so helpful. Like, this is so, so helpful. Um I just wanted to show you this part of it as well, because the Lux and the color temperature mixed into one with the LEDs is going to add more value to this. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching.